Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at security groups versus knackles. Okay, and so these are both used to act as firewalls within your VPC, uh, but the utility of these are slightly different. Okay, so just knowing the difference here is a good thing to cover, especially when we are in the security section here. So uh, looking at security groups, they act as a firewall at the instance level, whereas knackles act as a firewall at the subnet level. So in that diagram, you can see that all those instances um, are contained within a security group and they can span multiple subnets, whereas the knackles sit in front of the subnets and they're going to control access in and out to, uh, from subnets. Okay. Uh, now, security groups implicitly deny all traffic, and so you have to create allow rules to get access uh, to things, okay? And so that's both for inbound and outbound, okay? Uh, so the idea is that if you wanted to open up port 22 so you could SSH into an instance, that's an allow rule you would create on that security group. Now, with Knackles, you can uh, allow and, and deny rules, okay? But um, the, the real utility here with Knackles is that you can block a specific IP address known for abuse, okay? Because you can have deny rules and you can say exactly, I wanna deny exactly this IP address. So the reason you can't do this with security groups is that because implicitly denies everything, in order for you to, um, de uh, to deny a single IP and allow everything else, imagine all the IP addresses in the world, right? You'd have to, create allow rules for everything uh, uh, for those IP addresses and just exclude that one IP address, which is like almost impossible. So for Knackles, the best use case here is again, block a specific IP address known for abuse. Okay, so hopefully that um, uh, helps you understand security groups uh, versus Knackles. Um, and that's all we need to know here.